I leave the TV on. Hey guys, how are you? Hopefully you guys can see me. So today I am going to be making a DIY sign um, for my entryway, my foyer. Um, I am going for an urban farmhouse um, style in my home. And so my entryway has taken many different turns. <laughs> I have decorated it in about six or seven different ways, but I have finally found the design that sticks. And I am super duper excited. So I did do some Pinterest inspirations and some of them that I found, well actually one that I found was actually what I had in mind. Um, and so I'm so excited about it. I'm not even going to talk this whole time, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see the process of me making this sign and, um, you know, what it turns out to be. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned to see what I have in store. So this is the piece that I'm going to be using. It's kind of, uh, I think... Uh, I, I think the plywood, I'm not really sure, but it's very wobbly. It's like brown on the outside and then it has like a white lacquer finish. Um, so this is going to be my frame. Well, not my frame, but this is what I'm going to be framing out um, for my sign. Okay, so I'm also going to be using um, these one by two by eights and it's eight feet and well one by twos they're eight feet um, I have four of them I don't exactly know the measurement of my wood so I just bought four of them just to make sure that I had enough so I'm actually going to be measuring it right now and then cutting it out to fit my uh, ply board for my frame Okay, so I went ahead and I lined up my wood pieces and um, lengthwise, and now I am just going to, I marked it, and I'm just going to cut them to size. I'm going to cut these to size. Now go ahead and start nailing in my frame, my 
board to my frames and get my signage going. And this is what it would look like. <laughs> it looks good. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And now I'm going to just use some one and a half inch nails or two inch nails to nail the board into the wood. guys it's a nice wood frame and I'm actually going to chalk paint the center of it I just love it I love it so much it's so pretty and I actually think I am going to leave um, the raw wood because I do like I do like the raw wood I originally was going to stain it but I do like the raw wood I like all the knots and everything, so it's going to look amazing. So now I'm going to chalkboard paint this entire frame here, and it's going to be my giant chalkboard. So basically, we just made a giant chalkboard, and this is going to go in my entryway. So it's going to look great. It's going to look great. Let's do this. here. And I also have my chalkboard paint that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to wipe this board off because it's kind of been outside for a few days. So I'm just going to wipe it off, make sure there's no dust or anything on there. Normally you want to wait for it to dry in between coats, but I can't wait no longer. I'm just going to paint it. <laughs> Okay, you guys.
guys so this is what my painted chart board is looking like that's why I said I don't really care too much about the insides of the edges because it's just going to look like a mirrored image of the, the board itself um, but it looks so good it came out so beautiful I just I love the wood frame and it just looks so amazing and I, I can't wait until it's completely dried um, so I can show you guys how I am going to install it it's going to look beautiful and yeah okay guys so this is what it looks like in my foyer I am so excited it looks gorgeous and of course you guys have already seen the foyer um, tour in my collaboration video and it just looks so beautiful so if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel I would love to have you do so please uh, hit that bell for new notifications and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think if you like videos like this give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching